In today's video, Michelle Watterson breaks silence following loss to Amanda Lemos at UFC Long Island, Aljamain Sterling injures teammate Marab Dvalishvili during a recent sparring session, Michael Bisping weighs in on Islam Makachev vs Charles Oliveira, and Dustin Jacoby talks Alex Pereira's punching power. Michelle Watterson suffered another loss this past Saturday in the strawweight co-main event against Amanda Lemos. She lost the fight via submission, guillotine choke, at the 1 minute and 48 second mark of the second round. 36-year-old Watterson came into the fight with three losses in her last four fights. Taking to her social media on Monday, the karate hottie reacted to her tough loss and gave an update on her health. Here's the video. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in. Um, I'm super bummed, gutted actually, um, about the loss. I had an amazing camp, such amazing people around me, including my teammates, my coaches, my friends, my family, my loved ones, um, helping me prepare for this camp. It's the best shape I've been in my life. Um, mentally, I was prepared. I felt good in the fight, um, felt strong, and uh, you know, it was that split second um, opportunity that Amanda was able to capitalize on, and hats off to her for um, for seeing that and, and taking it. Um, like I said, I'm bummed, but this isn't the end of my story. I'm not injured. I'm healthy, I have my family, um, and so I'm just gonna uh, enjoy the ride and keep training. I'm, like I said, I'm healthy, so um, I'll, stay, I'll stay ready and hopefully be able to be back in there as soon as possible. Thanks guys, love you. UFC bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling recently shared a very interesting video of his last sparring session with number 6th ranked bantamweight Marab Dvalishvili. During the session, Marab, who is currently preparing for his upcoming fight with Jose Aldo, suffered an eye injury. On the other hand, Aljo will likely face TJ Dillashaw next, as the UFC president Dana White recently confirmed this news during UFC Fight Island's post-fight presser. Check out the sparring footage. You can watch the full video on Sterling's YouTube channel. The link can be found in the video description below. Shall we? Well, round two. Yeah, nice. I look like a fighter now. Everybody who say Aljo just wrestler, big mistake. <laughs> look at look at me. So nice, hold, nice hold punch. It right there, hold it right there. That was good right punch. Charles Oliveira and Islam Makhachev are finally scheduled to do battle with the vacant lightweight title up for grabs at UFC 280, which is scheduled for October 22nd in Abu Dhabi. The bout was officially announced during the UFC Long Island card last Saturday. Speaking on the most recent episode of the Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping reacted to the news and shared his thoughts on the matchup. Here's the clip. I think, well, Charles Oliveira does get hit. Charles Oliveira does get dropped, which is awesome. That's what makes him the most exciting fighter in the UFC right now. 
is that Makachev doesn't make it mistakes? Is that Makachev um, is clinical? He can probably, he's a, he's a better takedown artist. On the ground, I reckon he can match him. And on the feet, he doesn't really take shots the way Charles doesn't. He's got a great team. He's coming from yeah, Dagestan. I can hear myself on he's ESPN saying it right now. He's got Khabib in the corner. You know, Charles had a tremendous run as the lightweight champion, but the lightweight belt is going back to Dagestan, to the brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I always do to bloody Israel Adesanya as well. And every time I get proved wrong, you mm -hmm. know, and I, I don't know which way I'm leaning right now, but on paper, it's it's crazy to say it's easier to lean towards Islam than what it is to Charles. It, no, but when you look at the wins, I'm, for Charles I'm Oliveira, what you said. it's, <laughs> don't tell him, <laughs> uh, it, it's um, Justin Gagey, Dustin Poirier, Michael Chandler. Before you won, it's so impressive to me. Tony Ferguson. So impressive. You know, there was last four. And then for, Is for Islam, it's Bobby Green, Dan Hooker. I'm not sure who came before that. Um, but, but Thiago no, Moises. Thiago Moises. Good win, but still, we're not. Bobby Green's a tough guy, but we're not talking yeah. Gagey. I think Dustin Poirier. Poirier. You know, they're top of the food chain. They're the biggest guys, the biggest draws, the mm -hmm. hardest hitting, the most experienced, the biggest names, and Oliver is going through. Before Dustin Jacoby became one of the hottest rising names in the UFC's light heavyweight division, he was a middleweight contender competing in glory kickboxing, the same organization where Alex Pereira once reigned as a two-division champion. Back in 2014, he and Pereira actually crossed paths at an event in Zagreb, Croatia, where the Brazilian knocked Jacoby out in brutal fashion with his trademark left hook. To this day, it remains the only time Jacoby has been knocked out clean in his combat sports career. During a recent interview on the MMA Hour, the UFC light heavyweight shared his thoughts on the Pereira vs. Adesanya matchup, saying, It's an interesting matchup. I fought Pereira. It's the only time I've ever been knocked out. The guy knocks everybody out with that left hook. I can say that loud and proud because there's several guys that have fallen victim to him. And he's just a dangerous man. Is he? I know Pereira holds the 2-0 record. But again, that's kickboxing. And one of those fights I think was a really good fight that could have gone either way. And Izzy's just different inside the MMA octagon. He's got good defense. He fights really smart. He's got high IQ. I'm a big fan of both guys. When asked whether Pereira is the hardest puncher he's ever fought, Jacoby said, Number one, hands down. It's not even a close comparison. Dude, I have a great chin. That's not something to be real proud of. But if you're going to be fighting people for a living, you better bring that to the table. If you've got a good chin, you've got a good chance of staying in the fight. And with him, he just touches people different. Pereira just hits different, man. He's got that power. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user UFC Legend. Second place goes to MMA Fuhrer. And the number one voted meme was posted by username StrongBro. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.